Well, hello. Ooh, let me see if I can do something about that background noise. One second. Much better. Yeah, there we go. How is everyone today? Let's take a quick peek. Oh, I need my stream controller, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Make sure we got the chat available. Check our current loyalty points. I am 40 loyal to me. Good number. Decent number. Close a couple of windows. Where'd we leave off yesterday? We were dragging stuff around. That's what we were doing. Let's get a little bit of water get this party started. React. I was definitely supposed to do a little bit more reading than I did. Like I said, semi-vacation. Can you blame me? Anyway... We've got it right here, don't we? Hi. So we were looking at the, wow, my hat is crooked. Resolved. <laughs> Wait, is it crooked or is my face crooked? Whatever it is. All right. So yeah, we were making these things draggable. Uh, what I might do, I think I might work on constraining this before I go too much farther into the dragging. Like, I don't want them to be able to overlap, right? But I also want this to have some degree of this is a chat window, not this technically takes up the entire window, window, right? So before we go too much farther, let's make sure that we have Oops. <laughs> I love errors that say, did you mean? If that's what I meant, then just do it. Don't it because it can't mean anything else. What else could it mean? All right, we want to commit, add message. Um, landed on, crap, what was this thing? <laughs> uh, React draggable. Or interface, all right. Now at least we have it saved. I haven't pushed it up to the server because I didn't fix my VPN. Because honestly, there's only one more day of this, and I'll deal with it later. <laughs> one of the things about having your own lab is that it's the carpenter shoes. I think I've talked about it before, or not carpenter, the cobbler's shoes. A cobbler can always fix their own shoes, so they're not always the best. Let's 
close all these so I don't have too many of these open. I know events is one that I'm going to be working on, but I don't need package. I don't need WebSocket. App I probably need and header I probably still need. Let's reopen events. I really should rename this to chat. I'm going to I'm going to do that right now. Um Yeah. Then we have to go here and fix the import, right? Or no, it's not here. Is it here? Oh, it's the CSS. JS. I need events from... Chat messages. And let's rename this to messages. And we'll change this to messages. And then we're looking for events. Messages, events. I think that's probably fine. Let's see if I'm right. Nope. Uh, module not found. Can't resolve components chat messages. That's because it's chat messages. All right, and we're back. Although, we'll send a test. It's still showing sending twice, and I need to figure that one out. But for now, not too worried about it. So let's go back to chat messages here and oh no it's an app that I'm actually doing the draggable all right so I've got it set as a handle drag this makes it draggable so now let's look at this I don't want to be dragged I dragged I snap to a grid. Wait, let's reload this real quick. Take a quick look. Am I... Why are you popped out? Get back in there. So why does this save it? So these happen automatically. These always stay the same amount. I don't want to be dragged. I think it can also only be moved within my offset. But apparently you're always on top. Okay. I do want to confine it to the body element, so let's go to there. Actually, I want it confined to more than just the body element, but that's... Where was that example? Right here. With the 
handle. Where can we be moved? 100px. That can be dra dropped onto another box. Where did that go? I'm going to have to figure out where that one's at. Trackable bounds parent. Div class is box. Oh, okay. So that just specifically bounds it to parent. This bounds it to body. Okay. So I just add bounds. So in mine, I want to do that for both of them. These don't have commas, but that's okay. Bounds equal. Um, I wonder if I should put a div around this and name it. I want it outside of menu bar or I don't want it to be able to well let's start with there so we'll just say app so that whoop, could not find element what do you mean you couldn't find element bound selector app could not find an element What do you mean? Div class app. Do I have to do that? Div dot app? That doesn't seem right. Class name is app, bounds is app. Let's look at, so there here is bounds as parent, bounds equals body. What do I have? I don't have, I have hand drag, handle drag, but not drag handlers. Drag handlers is on start and on stop, which is these guys. Oh, good tomorrow. Catching. Maybe. Nope. Oh, will talk tomorrow. Wait, this guy's electric, isn't he? Yeah. And he's bad. Let's trade him real quick. I know. Unrelated. Squirrel. Aw. I'd rather have a Sandagast. Because they're funnier looking. All right. Anyway. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. So the handle here is strong and that's inside. Is that maybe the problem? That, no, that doesn't make sense. Because why would you set it inside? All right, for the sake of argument, let's just do uh, parent. All 
Parent could not find an element. No one caught it. Um, all right. So do I have to do this silliness? No, wait, not that silliness. This silliness. Nope. All right, so what are you talking about? Can't find the element. Grid bounds. I mean, I could do that, but that seems kind of dumb. I can detect drops from the next box. So this, it looks like, is going to be how I move something out of the way if I drop on top of it, which means I'll probably need a grid and that. That can be dropped onto another box. Bounds, bounds equals body. Class name equals box. So parent didn't work. Let's try body. Ah. So that seems to have done something. Body's that small, huh? And I can't go left to right. Why can I no longer go left to right? Oh, I forgot I had a grid on it already. Whoops. So I can only go X, Y on that now. Or, not X, Y. I can only go X. This means I'm going to have to start putting red lines around things. <laughs> Body, margin zero. There's a whole lot of stuff in here. Vertical height, width. Let's do, is it outline? No, it's border. One PX red or solid black, that'll work. Okay, now it should be able to go to the right and the left. Let's do red. And let's start adding it to other things. The real hero. Actually, no, I can just do it right in here. So that was not helpful at all. <laughs> uh, well, you know. It should be putting a red border on this. Why not? The 
Kurun. So, why is that not working? Oh. Jeez. Do I not need... Oh, just... What am I missing? Always something. Styles color red. That works fine down below. Because I'm not using create element. So it just needs this. There we go. I don't want black. We're going to do red. Well, we can do black. That's fine. Better to have a little contrast. But that's that's only that's only supposed to be around the handle. Oh, okay, no, that's here. Cappy. We do that here. Pasta. That gives us this. So I could be here and still drag there. All right. So we need to define also. First of all, let's define a box. So this div is handle. Oops. Oh, well, that's fine, because it's all one thing. Div class name is handle. And then I have a class name of cursor. So right now I have nothing defined for handle, right? Actually, right now, if I go back here, we'll just get rid of this. We'll just say that goes there, right? Copy. Pasta. Then we can get just get rid of that. Then at least we're changing it all in one place like we're supposed to be. And everybody's happy. Right? Same thing. Same, same. I think. Uh... 
Okay, not same, same. That's cursor. Why is handle? Why is handle doing nothing for me? Think this through with a little water. Dip on drag, handle drag, okay. Why does this have an on drag? This one has a class name. Still only up and down. So what about the bounds causes that? Bounds parent drag handlers. Div class name is box. I'm going to need a class name of box. Let's just get that taken care of. So I've got box or I've got handle and cursor. And that's all stashed under draggable. And then I have my next draggable, which just has on drag. And it puts all of my other functions in there. So let's make sure that both of these have the class. You're still up and down. You can still go everywhere. They're both snapping to a grid of 25. Sandshrew. I forgot to check if I need more stuff. Well, let's see if I got Sandshrew. Yay, Sandshrews. Eh. Not an awesome sand true. Unfortunate. Uh, what's my ball situation look like? <laughs> I'm good. I got 11. And I don't have enough to buy another 10 anyway. Alright, so these both have... Oh, but they both have X and Y of 0 as their default. And the handle in this case is strong. Mm. 
which is fine. That's what I want for both of those. I do need cursor. Make sure I'm doing this. So app CSS, I've got app header, app link, handle. It is dot. Dot is class name, right? And dash is ID. Yeah, it's period. Dot intro says that everything with a class of intro okay so that's handle let me make sure these aren't yeah they're not uppercase so this div should have according to this a 1px border solid black is it because it's still in quotes I think that's what it was. There we go. Now, one issue. That's not just the header. That's the entire box. So that's fine. Handle is now box. Uh, yeah, let's just... <laughs> I'm going to change it anyway. Let's just make it box. Um, maybe control? No. Yeah, control. Actually, let's do app control. Sounds better. Then I can change this to... I did do it that way, right? Yeah. Oops. App dash control. All right. So then cursor is separate, but this is the entire box. All right. Cool. Um, we are going to want to make cursor another one. which I think cursor is probably going to have to be renamed to what app control handle. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just throw a border on it just so that we have something in there. some space and it looks like I don't camel case so let's fix that right now app control app control and instead of cursor we are app control handle how we looking okay uh, the handle isn't well that's odd Do I have to add it here instead? Is possible. Yeah, there we go. So we can just take it 
out of here. We'll just put you back to cursor in case that ends up being important to the draggable, right? And we'll put you here. What? No, I didn't want to select all of that. Are you dumb? No, I'm dumb. Who's dumb? Ask someone else. What? Why did that happen? This is why I hate CSS. I've always hated CSS because of this. By adding a class name, it broke everything else. But when I had it basically doubled up, it's fine. Except it has these stupid lines in here. All I did was undo what I just did and now it works. Caramba. Please send bears. That's what I need. <laughs> Jern over on... Uh, oh, what is his... Well, he's making a, a pirate game, so I always think of pirate, but it's not... That's not his channel. But anyway, he's got a option, a redeemable that's bear with Jern, and a little bear pops in the corner of the screen. I need a beer with me. I don't even know if the AI on my machine just blanked that out, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so now we got to bound these into boxes. Like, no matter what, I want the chat to be a certain size. So that's going to be under app control. Uh, what size do I want it? Maybe I want to make it so, what, I can do four of them across? So, like, um, instead of PX, I know it's supposed to be 25 vertical width. That seems wrong. Oh, well, part of that's because I don't have this. And then I need to do that there. Let's make sure I have that there. Let's make it the same. We'll give it 1%. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. Test. Number one. Test number two. Lorem Ipsum and some other junk like that to try and scroll. 
out of the window. Okay. I don't like that it seems to be biased to the right. Got to fix that. But gas is being cooked with. Um, there is an issue in that. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> that would drive me insane. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they're on the they're on different twenty-five Okay. Oh that's gonna drive me bonkers. Maybe it's the margin. The margin's doing it, right? Oh, that's, that just hurts. Oh, but you know what? This one is now bound by the actual body. For reasons. Maybe that's got something to do with it because it's using the body body as a bounding um let's do it in the other one as well Cappy. position grid pasta reload No. All right, so how is that possible? I dragged them both to the top. Both all the way left. Now they can't line back up. I don't like that. That makes me hurt. Well, let's look at the um, what I was going to look at was this guy that keeps track of what happened to the what happened to the jerk that can be dropped on top of another one. heck is this one supposed to be? Lucario. Poke catch. Poke destroy. I can only be dragged vertically. Okay. I can only be dragged this way. Okay. I can be dragged anywhere. Cool. I snap to a grid. Cool. That can only be moved a little bit. All right. Where did my friend that can be dragged on top of do I have to do a full reload? Okay. So where's this one that can only be dragged into another one? <laughs> because it says it's here. Can I, I'm not missing it there. I can only be moved within. I can only be moved within body. I have an absolute position. I use rem instead of 
EX for my transform. I also have absolute positioning. I depend on a CSS hack. Arcado Lucario, sweet. I depend on a CSS hack to avoid double absolute positioning. Okay. I have, I'm slightly offset. Cool. I have a default position based on parent, so I'm slightly offset. Okay. <laughs> Click this adjust, okay. So I'm probably gonna have to look at the adjust just so that nothing can be on top of each other. Wait, where was the ones that I can... Here we go. So these guys are supposed to be... Fruit fly. These guys are supposed to be there, but they're not here. Does that mean they're behind this? I think they're behind this box. All right, so let's look at that. Um, I can detect drops from the next box. Class name box and drop target. So what's it have in the CSS here? Actually, I'm just going to steal this. <laughs> Put it right in here. And I'm back to this silliness. Oh, is it probably because of that? No. Now they just load up to the top when I click. Okay. So it was the float left that was causing that. It's all right. I'm fine with it. These sizes are all wrong, but that's all right. Um, let's make you... What do we say? Three times the size? Can't I just do that? Same times three. I think it'll let me do that. Not three times the size. Times two. Doesn't like that. Uh, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to do 360 and see what that looks like. That's in the height. Okay, so that is it's a little large. Uh, 200? I mean, that's not that much bigger. Put you back at 180. Too small. 250. A little better. 360. A lot better. So why did you get so huge? 360. 
There we go. There, that... <laughs> that still makes me unhappy. I don't like that... There's got to be a way to make it so that whatever you click on suddenly comes to the front. Well, that shouldn't matter. At the end of the day, even if it goes behind it, if I let go of it, this guy should get out the way. Right? Alright, well. We're talking about bridges that need to be burned. But like... Oh, that's so just, just so. Like, why are they not on the same 25? <laughs> That's going to drive me bonkers. I, I need to figure that one out. All right. Um, but I think for the most part, those at least look decent as a starting point. And we've kind of got our basics. Um... So I think, well, let's do this. Make sure and save. Are you still orange? There's a problem in this file. Where is the problem? What's the problem? What's the issue? Array prototype map expects a return value from an arrow function. Okay, but it's just a warning. In standard programmer. Like, eh, it's just a warning. No big deal. How good is this Lucario? Ooh, I got a perfect. The only bad was special defense. All right. Quick break time, need to grab some more water.
and we're back. Ish. Pa 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 pao. All right, so where were we? Yes, we were screwing around with IDs. So we've got a class name and an ID. Hmm. So we basically got another couple of divs getting jammed into this div. Eh, I'm okay with that. What we do have... I'm not understanding why this is showing as an error. But okay. What happened with... Oh. It's not showing as an error. That's showing as an error. Jeez. Where were you on that one? Prototype map expects a return value. So if I do return, that should take care of it, but I still see an error here. Ekans. I love how stupid it is that Ekans is snake backwards. <laughs> there are things in life that make you funny, or make you feel funny, and that is one of them. When you realize it's snake backwards. And wasn't uh, Ekans... There's something about what Ekans evolves into also. Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I get him? I got an Ekans! Nice. Uh, what does... Ekans evolves into... Oh, it was down here. Arbok, which is Cobra. Cobra backwards. I knew there was something like that. Is this thing on? This thing is on. <laughs> I've done that before. All right, so I can work on prettying this up and getting more of the data in later. Uh, what I care about What I care about now is, well, this can easily be smaller. This is just the connection status. So I also want to get rid of drag here. That's got to go. So let's fix that. Uh, drag here. I wonder if that's something that I can pull. Well, no, because this each one of the one of the pieces being jammed together. So I need to say I think the my form actually needs to be outside of that too, because that's going to become the way, uh, I'm gonna want that in this div, but always at the bottom of this div. 
because that's supposed to be type submit is loading yeah I think that's going to be how I make the bot talk if I want to but I will deal with not burn that bridge well, let's at least move that bridge even if we're not burning it Now, there is something I need to do in messages. There needs to be a maximum size. Again, I think that's a bridge I'll burn. Right now, I, I still want to figure out this, this positioning stuff. Maybe it's that position null. Can I do that? Let's reload. All right, they got a little space between them. They don't line up. It's so terrible. Let's change our grid to be 10. Okay. So 10, maybe it was the, the five. Five made it so it wasn't as divisible. Uh, <laughs> that's my guess. Oh, that's kind of funny though. I have one there and then it goes to 10. So I got one, zero, 10. Why do I have the extra move there? Do I have an extra move here? I do. What about on the other end? Nope. It's only over here. Pink. I'll take it. 10 is my new number. All right, so now I need to look at the the box. Rim wrapper needs to take its styles from this element. And this element can't have an absolute position after it's kicked in, as far as I can tell. Or as far as I know, it's not possible to do this directly. Position static important. All right, let's go back to the example. And let's look at the ones that can recognize when they're in another one. Because I want them to be able to get pushed out of the way, right? My position can be changed programmatically. So they all need to have that. Controlled position. That's going to be something up here. Delta controlled position equals this dot state. State active drags. All right, so we need to add that. I think that's going to have to be a let. 
state is declared, but it's ah, declared but never used. Cool. Then we we'll go back to that. Where was the controlled? I don't want to be dragged. <laughs> Snap to a grid. I can detect drops. I do need this one too. Just so I don't have to go looking for it again. And we'll do the same thing here just to make sure we have it. But what we're looking for, I can also be moved within the offset. That's the bounds. Position equals controlled position. On drag this dot on controller drag. So this is going to be based off of this dot state. I'm beginning to wonder if I do need to revisit looking at the other one because this doesn't seem to have some of the stuff that I'm trying to do. I wonder if I can do the on drag make position one. There's no way for me to move this out of the way and they're back there behind it. Oh, that's kind of funny. But it can't find, it doesn't find those other ones. So that's interesting. Let's see, I'm going to open this in a new tab. I wonder if there's anybody who's used this. Draggable is a batteries included component that manages its own state. If you want to completely control the life cycle of a component, use draggable core. For some users that may be a, that may want the nice state management that draggable provides, but occasionally want to programmatically reposition their components. Draggable allows this customization via a system that is similar to how React handles form components. If the prop Position X, Y is defined, the draggable will ignore its internal state and use the provided position instead. Alternatively, you can seed the position using default position. Technically, since draggable only works on position deltas, you could also seed the initial position using CSS top left. We make one modification to the React philosophy here. We still allow dragging while a component is controlled. We then expect you to use at least an on drag or on stop to synchronize state. 
to disable dragging while controlled, send the prop disabled is true. At this point, the draggable will operate like a completely static component. Draggable core has no internal state. Draggable core is useful is a useful building block for other libraries that simply want to abstract browser specific quirks and receive callbacks when a user attempts to move an element. Dragging on non left button clicks. Okay. So I could do access both. Okay. Cancel option. Default class name. Class names for draggable UI. Default to React Draggable. React Draggable Dragging and React Draggable Dragged. Default Disable. Adds user select none while dragging too. That's a good idea. Grid specifies a selector to be used as the handle that initiates drag. Okay. If desired, you can provide your own offset parent for drag calculations. By default, we use draggables offset. Okay. starts if false is returned any if false is returned any handler the action will cancel okay called while dragging called when dragging stops to avoid the warning pass a node ref as an example for rich components dang it I missed the goldine not paying attention. <laughs> attention to detail. Zing. This can be used for arbitrarily nested components. For rich components, you need both forward, ref, and props. If this property is present, the item becomes controlled and is not responsive to user input. Use position if you need to have direct control of the element. This allows you to get the correct drag deltas while you're zoomed in or out. Okay. So while this one is easier, if you 
Not using browser, probably webpack, a UMD is available. Okay. Oh, the latest release was on 2016. But they're currently, what? So like, is this dead? <laughs> Tracked how to update covered area. The drag on the rack flow is dragged well, but the old area of the unstable pop up remains covered. That's not what I'm looking for. Switch to translate, getting warnings, new React versions. All right, I'm just gonna continue, see how far I can get with this particular library. If I have to change it out, I have to change it out. Wait. Those don't line up anymore. bridge when we come to it. Um, I'm going to put all of this because menu bar has got to be at the top no matter what. So we're going to put you all the way at the top no matter what. Stop it. name equals we're not going to do app window you are going to be app menu bar and then you are going to be div oops you're going to be app dash controls control area I'll probably have one at the bottom as well that is going to be well let's finish this out And let's take care of our tabs and do a little bit of cleaning up. Oops, actually. Wait, you're already tabbed. What are you connected to? So 
So I have a div, div. That's okay, that's closing for that. That means. Oh, you just need to be forward one. No, that's not right. What do you close? This one. Okay. What do you close? App. Oh, so you're just too far forward. Not the other way around. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now, instead of body, you're going to be bound to... control area. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll find out. Crash. Bound selector app. Okay. So let's look a little bit more into how the bounds. Where was bounds? Bounds, left or string. Parent. Or a selector restricts movement within the targeted node. Does that mean I need it to, to be an ID? Or is it because I don't have a class in place? Oops. Uh, copy. What? And move. Okay. Bound selector could not find element. All right, let's go back here and for the sake of argument. Um, let's just do ID. Could not find element. All right, so this, the bounds really should just be parent. According to this, or this. Although not capitalized. And crash. Okay. So let's set these both to parent. Okay. We'll hop back over here. Let's make sure that we have a... Order. 
one px solid red. Now you're going back over this. Why? Why you do this? Oh, because it displays flex. No, you still shouldn't be doing that. Oh. Okay, now we got red. But why can you cross that line? You shouldn't be able to cross that line. And for some reason you can't go that way. Uh, oh, maybe I need to do in line. I mean, that's kind of funny, but if I actually, if I do inline block and then I say width one hundred view. No, that's supposed to show you the whole... That's supposed to give you the whole thing. Right? Syntax. Auto percent... I could just do 100%. Let's do 95%. So it gets padding over here, but not over here. And it can still go there. You're not tied to your parent, buddy. What's your problem? All right, let's see what the heck. Parent restricts movement within the node's offset parent. Nearest node with position relative or... Oh, I don't have... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now you're stuck in the right place. Probably want it to be a little bit higher. Um, man, I keep missing the Pokemons. I don't know if 95% height, height is a good idea. Well, that's not going to matter. Ninety percent of view height. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. These guys are lining up a little bit better, probably because they're more constrained. Winning. That deserves a water break, despite missing two. Pokemans. How's my loyalty points? I am 43 loyal to me. 43.
I just realized anybody watching this on YouTube has no idea what I'm talking about. Because, all right, well, if you're watching on YouTube, I can type Pokey Loyalty Points, and it tells me how many loyalty points I have for this particular channel. Right now I have 43 loyalty points. Now you know. I just think it's hilarious that I'm only 43 loyal to myself. And not that long ago I was zero loyal to myself. Let's throw a couple tests in here. And just for the sake of argument, make sure that that doesn't get sent. Although, hmm, this is interesting because I would probably want bot chatter in this side. Interesting. I'm going to have to add... I'm going to have to have whether or not I've flagged a user as a bot get sent over so that on this view, it'll show that it's a bot or it'll show, it'll still show the, the text, even though it's flagged as a bot. But when I'm doing my overlay screen, it won't show bot data. I rolled a one weak sauce. Again, anything involving a bot, nobody sees. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be interacting with my bot in the VOD. But I wrote the bot to interact with. I mean, if you write something to interact with, what, 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 I can't help you. I like that, though. I like it. It's pretty. I like it a lot. But, like right now, it's set at 95%, right? So that means this needs to be set at 5%. And this needs to be 5%. But I need to make sure that these things always fit in that 5%. Because, like, whoop, hey, look, I have more area. Wang. I want to get rid I probably need to get rid of this padding too. Not a fan of that. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> That's an issue. Uh, okay. How do we go about fixing that? Because that's got to be done here. And I'm really wondering if I can go, because this is a whole lot to have in here. And these are going to be start being very specific to these individual things. Like, I probably want this to be a little bit larger of a box. But the class name is still app control. Which means and I also need ID of chat control. And I want it to make sense. And if I remember right, it's dot for class and it's dash for ID. Oh no, it's, it's pound for ID. So let me look back at this. What did I do? I did ID chat control. So For this specific one, I 
I want a height maybe so I've got everything in basically 180 360 so next would be 540 Heath There. Now chat's a bit bigger. Not tea bag. Technically this guy should be half. So I'm gonna have to do another one for um connection connection. <laughs> And realistically, I'm going to want height to be half, so 180 px. And I don't have connection control as an ID yet. Let's do it. There. So I just have to remember that that's my my baseline. What do I do? What would be 100% height in this case? So let's let's take a look at that. Uh, 540. What's another 180 is 720. Oh, weird! It's ending up. Seven twenty, and then nine hundred. So nine hundred is about my max here. And what I want to do is make it so that when I drag this over here, this just pops over because that's the only place that there's room, right? What is going on in my... Oh, something getting delivered. Oops. Stay. Okay. So now we need to write something to make them move out the way. And I think that's going to be the controlled, right? And it's going to have to be on the on drag. Let's go back here. Oh, actually, I saved them, didn't I? So on mouse enter is on drop area mouse enter. So there's going to be in here something called drop area, I'm sure. React draggable box, no, no pointer, hovered. Or not. Alright, so what's this thing looking at? For handle drag, on start, on stop, on drop, mouse, enter. If this state active drags, target classless add hovered. So it has hovered. Hovered is the Draggable cursor cursor. 
I swear I saw a Hubbard over here. Hubbard. Background color gray. All right. That's a good idea just to have in there. Um, bam. So it's, it should just add a class of Hubbard. Oh, but I need the... I need on drop, on mouse, enter, and on... And I'll need the adjust as well, I'm sure. Adjust expose. Actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just do that. Because at some point, I'm getting them all, it looks like. <laughs> so we've got state and handle drag are the only two. All right, so. On start, on stop, on drop. We don't need these two. Napalm. Catching a napalm. Why does that sound odd? Seems like something you would never want to do. And then if I just never use it, I'll throw it away. I think I'm going to have to get rid of all of the this, huh? Like this on controller drag. It's not this, it's just, it's that. <laughs> so if I do this, now it's called. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get rid of all of these because they're not inside of an object, actually. Let's do replace. Oh, no one caught the APOM. 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 We're looking for this dot. And yeah, we're going to replace it with nothing. All right, now why is set state not a thing? Set state is not defined. React, drag, react, react. State is that. Ram wrapper. There, yeah, that is correct. There is no set state. Let's start state. So it doesn't have. Okay, so. That set state is relying on React component probably to have a setter for state, and this is just extending it. So I need to add a setter here to state because I'm not extending. But then it becomes, instead of set state, So if I have an object, I need to add a setter to an object, but I think that changes it to object.set. Let's see. What 
what you call set state. So that will actually work. What's my one error now? All right, for the sake of argument, not you, but you. All right, we didn't technically break anything yet. We're winning. I think we can get rid of this. We've proven that we're not really using it at the moment. Actually, was that? That can be dropped onto another box. On mouse, enter. Control, this is all right. Time to start breaking this dip down a little bit. Class name, ID, on mouse, enter. On mouse leave. Oh, I just gave it the wrong bracket. And on drag. And this is the app control. Uh, cannot read. Reading on. Cannot read properties. Undefined reading on drop area mouse enter. I thought I put that in there. On drop area mouse enter. Drop area mouse enter. It's right there. It's it is. It's right there. So what are you talking about? You can't. Oh. Right. That's on me. Yeah. Cannot read properties of undefined reading state. If state. But right now it doesn't set the state anyway, so it doesn't really. What was that? That was a falla. Hey, Fox Captain Fire. Thanks for the follow. You are not wanting to be nice. I need to get used to what some of these sounds mean. <laughs> All right, state.active drag. So right now I'm not setting it. Uh, I think that's my issue in that here it's probably getting set because that's on the on start and it does this dot set state let's look at what they're doing here Oh, this is all... Oh, it's in render. <laughs> I need to look in the right area. All right, so they've got the drag handlers. And this... In... Oh, okay, so they add the drag handlers. So I need to do that as well. If I want to live. Uh, 
Uh, do I do that out here? I think I do that out here. And then they have it in draggable. What's my draggable? Draggable here. They have all the things. And then dot dot dot. Drag. Drag. Is it a comma? I thought the dot 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 just expanded the three out. Oh, wait. I know what the problem is. At least I think I know what the problem is. We need a couple of these guys. I didn't mean to get rid of that stupid comma. Go away. Add that. Actually, we need the other one as well, right? And I think using this is a problem. Because, again, we're not running this in the, uh, writing this as an expansion. We're writing our own by copying and pasting. <laughs> so, what we're going to add is the delta position. Oops. Gabby. Throw that in there. Again, we get rid of this. And this should just be saying it's not called. Yeah. Which is fine. And let's add these drag handlers. Gabby. There's no draggable. Did class test my draggable. There we go. Alright, we're not running yet. Yeah. Soak tune. Alright, there we go. We're back. Uh oh. Aha. I'm I'm reading set state. All right, we need to find that set state. That is an on start. So set state is still gonna fail. I need to do state. dot active drags equals Oops. I wanted to go capital. Ah. All right, again, we're running into set state. This is on the let go, though. So it's going to be the same deal. We're getting rid of the quote unquote right way of doing it. State dot active drags equals. Ooh, what about seal? Let's catch a seal. Why not? Equals minus minus state dot active drags. All right, we just do the same thing here. I mean, we may as well just jump in front of this, huh? Equals minus minus state active drags. Up how? All right, anything else? Yes, state. Let's go back here. State dot controlled position equals just bum, 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 bum. seal has been caught sweet I am a pokey master <laughs> oh it's so funny saying that Sorry, it's kind of a internal joke. It makes me think of Jay and Silent Bob. If you know, you know. State dot controlled position. Equals. All right. 
Let's run with it. Action. Quick Poke Break. Let's take a look at our ill-gotten gains. Check out this seal. It's good. Wow. Two Fantastics, though. A horrible. And a bad. How much time I got left? Hour and 12 minutes on my trade. I don't know why this is suddenly doing this, but that's okay. It at least pops into the right place. Okay, that's kind of funny. It's backwards. All right, but it, it, at least uh, something's happening. All right, stick with me here. Oops, wrong one. You want this one. Okay, things are happening. Wild and wacky and crazy things. Oh, let's uh, let's make sure we. It's kind of funny. We've hit a world or development. We've hit a place where just saving is not enough. Saving is important, yes, but you also have to have a commit history so that you can go back and go, okay, where did I screw this up? Let me just roll back to that. Uh, so in this case, we have added functions from uh, React Draggable. Add functions from React Draggable examples to better handle handles. Yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. That's just funny, though. Okay, so now... Nothing. And then it grabs it on exit. And then if I go into it and out, into it and out, do I have to do something else? Do I have to move it? Why did it go away last time? I hate CSS. <laughs> It's making me crazy. Okay, it's, it, there's something in that countdown thing. It, that minus minus and the plus plus. That's that's what it is. Cause... Caramba. I need this to be at the bottom. How do I make that happen? I need to I need to break this up is what I need to do. So we've got messages. I should actually just change you to be chat, right? Maybe, actually. Because at some point, I'm going to be doing YouTube and Twitch, so I'm going to need YouTube chat, or maybe I do it the right way and just merge them together, but we'll see. I, it's a hard thing to do because no matter what, you're in a situation where you're answering people that other people may not have seen, so you're kind of, I don't know. It's either going to be, I have a combined chat window, or I have Twitch over here and YouTube over here. And then I'll just show that scrolling side by side on, on the video feed so that you can see it. I haven't decided yet. I mean, that's so far from where I am right now. <laughs> All right, what this means is that over here in chat messages, I can take out the title bar because it's no longer useful. Um, I can probably hide this because I'm not going to need it. And I can get rid of this because I'm not going to need it. And the title bar can also go there. Why is this giving me a problem? Oh, it's just telling me the line was removed. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at here. Uh, load. Cool, cool. T Westing and Lurk. I don't know, why doesn't Lurk work?
that should work. But I somehow... Ted. Alright, I do need to float everything in here to the left. So, I think I need to do that in here, right? Well, no, I have messages list, so can I do that here? It's an ID. Uh, pound. Messages list. Float. Left. I think that's right. Of course, I need more massages. That's not very left. Lorem Ipsum, I uh, said to the Pipsum. Yeah, no, that's still centered. Why are you centered? Probably because I need to do it here instead of here. Because I think that's how I have it here, maybe? No, I have like nav bar. Is that because it's here? Uh, let's look at body, body root class. We're going to be control area. We want this guy. What we want. Oh, why is chat container and form connected? All right. ID is messages list. Did I do message list? I did message list, didn't I? Messages list, and I go to here. No, messages list. Oh, maybe I need to do chat container. Let's do that. Uh. Testing. One, two, four. Testing. A little more. Well, that's, that's not doing it. And we've got body being defined a number of times. That's fine. We got our border, our body again, root, HTML. So why isn't this? All right, let's drop down one more app, app control area, Twitch chat. You are app control react draggable. Okay. App control handle. That's all well and good. Chat container. Do I have to add did in front of it? I mean, that would tell me, that would tell it to only do the div. But now I'm gonna have to reload it. And do more testing. Pong ping lorem itsim. No, it's still centered. Why are you centered? Um, let's go here. Text. Oh, I should be using text align, huh? Let's try that. And we can probably get rid of this and just put back at... Just when you think you know, right? Left. Let's put you over here where you're useful. I do still need to make it move the heck out of the way. Tortuga! Give me that turtle. Uh, Lord, uh, 
Get some, give me some answers. Okay, we left. We've got too much padding. Where is our padding coming in? Let's give ourselves a border. Because he doesn't love a border. We're going to go uh, 1px solid green. And there's going to be nothing there. Oh, escapey. Okay. Um, text line is left. It definitely fills the whole thing. So why? Uh, padding. Pasting. Left. Zero. PX. Boy, how you do. I have a test for you. So what is this? Why is all of that there? Let's look back at our chat message. Oh, I know what it is. It's it's the space where the dot is. I need to get rid of the dot and move everything over. Um, UL remove dot, oh, remove bullet, and indent. Is it just indent zero also? If it's indent zero, I'm just, you know what, while we're waiting for stack overflow to load for some reason. Adding zero, list style type none. Okay, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It's never that easy. Unless it is. At which point it's easy. It's easy. Who cares? Quit whining about it. Oh, I'm going to have to reload. Why are you still... You're still padded. Do I have another thing that I should have a line around to be able to read? Div container UL ideas messages list. Let's let's put a you know We're gonna need a uh, border blue and we're also going to maybe we do that. Alright, so it's still indenting. Don't indent. Um, why? Why are you like this? You could be any other way. Okay. So how do I shift all of that over? Do I need to do also a text align left here? And I'm going to have to do it again. No, it's still doing it. Is there a, do I float you left? Is that what I'm thinking of? Okay. Got a text line left here. That's not useful. You're not doing anything. 
you're also not doing anything. I don't think you changed anything at all either. I'm fairly certain that that's something I'm doing somewhere else already. What do I need to do to move that over? I'm going to do comment in these. I feel like I've done it before. <laughs> Alright, so if I've got text line left, and it's still hating my freedom. Why, wait a minute. Okay, so no. The chat container is green. What if I do... That. Does this work? I might be centered again. No, I'm, I'm left. I mean, but just force it. It seems dumb to set that negative. Oh, it's not filling. Actually, I set it to 100% of this, and it's not. Why aren't you taking 100% of this? Let's see. I'm going to remove the indentation. I think left to zero is used to remove. Adding left to zero. And here we go. That's the right answer. I felt like I did that. What are you going to do? Alright, so now... Now I need to push this all the way to the bottom. Which I think has to happen here. I need, I'm going to need another... So I've got the app control, chat control. I have the handle. I'm going to need a... I'm going to need a... Well, it's already in its own div, right? So each of these kicks out its own div. Let me make sure that my form, which does need to be changed, it returns just the form. So let's change that. Uh, you're going to be class name, chat form. And you're going to end right there. All right, so now we have chat form. We have messages. Well, we have a chat container. So here. I need, uh, let me go, no, it's here. I check container. If I do 90%, I don't care. What if I do it here? doesn't care. Oh, I think that's because technically it doesn't exist, right? So it'll exist when the first chat comes in. Doesn't help me though, it still doesn't care. <laughs> what do we got? Coordinates. I've got to check my... Have I thrown 11 balls? 
Well, first, let's see if I caught it. Did it? Nope. I have five remaining. Let's buy some more. Rawr. Buy some more. This water type Pokemon. That just seems like it's on the draw. <laughs> kind of subjective, I feel. Put you away. That's annoying. Okay. I guess check container. Or check control should just be 100%. It really. I mean, maybe that can be adjustable in the future once I figure that out, but. 100 percent let's see how that looks uh less than ideal ninety five percent is even worse nineteen nine nine hundred and fifty nine percent or just nine hundred and fifty nine Oh, that was a hundred so bad. Ninety nine seems Oh, because there's padding. It's gotta be ninety-eight percent because I have a padding of one pixel. Okay. Acceptable. That was a test and you passed. What oh, just buzzed? Oh. Alright. Well, we didn't do anything about moving stuff out of the way. We got this shifted over to the left. Um, let me clean up some of these lines, and then I think I'm going to call it. We're going to get rid of all these borders that we don't need any longer. I'm going to want that blue border, because this 100% width thing not working. I don't Actually, I'm kind of curious now. If I just do this, yep. All right, we need that. I get rid of you. We do want that overflow scroll. This doesn't seem to matter. I'm probably gonna have to put another block around it. I don't like it. But it is what it is. Alright, these guys get to keep their borders, because I kind of like it, but we can get rid of this red one. Gone. And we need the big red one gone. Where are you, big red one? Here, I think. Yeah. There we go. It's funny that I have these backwards still. And that, that somehow resolved it. Wonk? No. Wonk? No. Wonk? No. Yeah, still not. That, that's just dumb. That's the kind of dumbness that happens when you don't know how to use CSS properly. So eat your CSS yellows, kids. Well, I think that's where I'm going to call it for the day. Uh, the Fox Captain Fire, thanks for the follow. Thanks for uh, giving me a little bit of your day if you were lurking. And uh, anybody who's watching on YouTube, thank you for making it this far. And also, thanks for giving me some of your time. I hope it was fun. And uh, feel free to let me know if there's something else you want to know you want me to fail miserably at more than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> ah, good times, good times. Thanks, everyone. Whee!